Hello, and welcome to Beaumont. If you're watching this, you've probably been diagnosed with a kidney stone, and that can be quite painful. Our goal is to help you understand how the stone and pain will be managed. The kidneys are a pair of organs, each about the size of your fist. Their primary job is to remove waste from your blood. And as the kidneys filter blood, they create urine that drains down the tubes called ureters that connect to your bladder. Kidney stones form when waste crystals separate from the urine and become stones. These pass from the kidneys down the ureters and they can block urine flow, causing pain. So what are the signs of kidney stones? Most people complain of pain in the mid-back that radiates to one side or spreads to your groin, nausea and vomiting, an urge to urinate often, pain when you urinate, or pink or red urine. It's important to note that pain from kidney stones can come in waves with periods of time in between with no pain. Some kidney stones will pass on their own and you should talk to your doctor if you are experiencing these symptoms. You should call your doctor immediately or head to emergency if you have kidney stone symptoms associated with a fever, trouble passing urine or an inability to urinate, a large amount of blood in your urine, or severe pain not relieved by over-the-counter medications. We understand passing kidney stones can be extremely painful. The good news is that most kidney stones are passed by taking pain medication and drinking lots of water. In other cases, however, depending upon your symptoms and the size and location of your stone, surgery may be required. The most important factor that influences our treatment of your stone are your symptoms. When you come to the emergency department, we will do several tests to diagnose kidney stones. A urine test will show if you have blood or an infection in your urine. There are a few different types of imaging tests that your doctor will consider. Usually, a CAT scan without contrast will be ordered, but sometimes an X-ray or an ultrasound depending on the situation. These will help better identify the size of the stone and where it's located. Once we have diagnosed a kidney stone in the emergency department, you will typically undergo a period of observation. Many times, patients are able to pass the kidney stone on their own and can avoid surgery. During observation, our goal is to control your pain. This can be done with both oral or IV medication. In addition, medication may also be given to relax the urinary tract and help the stone pass. If there's any concern for an infection, an antibiotic may also be given. If your symptoms don't improve within a day, your pain persists, or their sign of an infection, you may be admitted. For relief, your physician may place a temporary stent or small flexible tube. This bypasses the stone, allowing urine to flow past it and ease your pain. If a stone is too large to pass, there are two common treatments. Both are outpatient. A lithotripsy or shock machine uses shock waves to break up the stones. Pieces of the stones will then pass in your urine. This takes less than an hour and you will be sedated. The other procedure is called ureteroscopy. Here, a scope goes through the urethra and bladder into the ureter. The doctor is able to grab small stones and break apart larger ones with a laser. The pieces pass during the next several days. Going forward, you should know that there are many reasons for kidney stones, including genetics. Once you've had a kidney stone, you're at increased risk for forming more. That means you should schedule regular kidney imaging tests like CAT scan or ultrasound. You can also reduce your risk of kidney stones by washing your diet. Drink enough liquids, especially water, each day. At least half of your liquid should be water, and be sure to increase the amount you drink when exercising or the weather is hot. Reduce the amount of animal protein and salt you consume. Eat fewer foods rich in oxalate, that means limiting nuts, chocolate, coffee, green leafy vegetables, beets, and sweet potatoes. It's very important to follow up with your doctor. Please let us know if there's anything more we can do for you. Thank you for choosing Beaumont.